this is the thing. If you're looking at this on a 15 minute chart, all you're seeing is this. So actually, uh, Upstart is one, uh, something I'd like to sink my teeth into. You know, look, I think you can short just about, just close your eyes, um, just short about any NASDAQ stock for the next three months. Um, this is Upstart. Um, it, had, it was a high flyer, uh, went higher last year after earnings, then put on a very nice uh, head and shoulders, kind of double top just like everything. And then, you know, once it broke that, it was just sayonara from 400 down to hundred. And now we have another top right here. We have kind of a key reversal, a little bit of an inside day bar combination. And it looks like, you know, if we go through this neckline around whatever this is 90, that is going to put another tranche lower. So, you know, all of these stocks should look pretty much the same. They're all going to fall out of bed, I think, one after the other. Um, it's kind of like easier maybe just to short the indexes right now, um, you know, just to catch everything. But, uh, yeah, the indexes rallied quite a bit this morning. Now they're coming off. And so, yeah, I just think that, uh, you know, I kind of labeled or entitled my um, – letter last night called dead money. Dead money is like a Wall Street slang for you know money that's likely not to get a return for an extended period of time. But, you know, that kind of implies somewhat of a benign scenario where, you know, you just go sideways or nothing really happens. But I think it could actually get far worse. You know, when you look at these stocks, they put in major bear patterns. Probably I should have gone back to Facebook, you know, to see um, what occurred before the massive sell-off. And so Tesla, to my mind, is looking like the same thing where, um, let me just peel out a little bit. You know, buried within all of this kind of somewhat sideways action in the last three, four months, really you've been forming a distribution. So, you know, it looks like this and looks kind of nowhere, but actually everybody here has been selling. This is a distribution and it all, this is Facebook, by the way, uh, Meta, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, we have this double top head and shoulders. You kind of had this downtrending neckline, which always implies that things are not only bearish, but they're going to go down very quickly. And then you had a set of, you know, more bear patterns here and more bear patterns here and so on. And, you know, once it cracked kind of this area right here, and you can see this is what the markets do. They break out, they give you a, a fake out, a head fake. They get you all suckered, all lathered up, you know. And, uh, you know, to my mind, this is why, you, you know, you kind of need to understand history. You need to understand that the implications all the way back here led to what happened there. And I think Tesla is looking like the same thing where you get a bunch of little bear patterns setting up for a major crack like that. And so Tesla to me has been building for a long time and Tesla is, I don't know, the, the icing of the cake. I mean, if this thing unravels, I think it will spook a lot of people. And I don't see how it's not going to unravel. I mean, it's got just like Facebook. You know, you have a double top here and a head and shoulders. You have a double top and a head and shoulders. You have a double top and a head and shoulders. So, and then, you know, you had this, I guess, primary neckline that it bust through around 990. Then you had a secondary neckline around 875 that you cracked through. Uh, last week, and then the last vestige of support is 790. And so this whole thing to me is just a house of cards. And, uh, you know, it's a bubble. It's, 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 
you know, it's, it's what's called a parabolic market. So if we peel out and look at the monthly, you know, it looks like a hockey stick. It goes like that. And to me, parabolic markets, you know, kind of end the way they, uh, they, uh, they begin. So this is the, uh, the haymaker. You know, I've been talking about this a lot. You know, it kind of made a series of moves last week to the 843. It got stopped out in a bunch of trades. Um, but I think this is something that you can stick with. I, uh, I'm actually... I don't put any stops in this thing. And, you know, my attitude, I'm just going to keep shorting this thing if it goes higher. But I think that, you know, these highs at, you know, 950 are likely to, to hold now. We broke under this neckline and I would, you know, sell into any kind of rally here. So uh, I'm looking at now, actually, the market is rallying in the futures right now. This guy's must be saying something. So to me, I don't know. These rallies are, you know, meant to be sold into. Now, what does that mean? I mean, that's a pretty broad thing. And it's, you've got to just, I don't know, use your imagination and, or have some courage. But um, it's kind of looking at the big picture and just trusting that the pattern is going to get you to kind of the holy grail. And so, you know, we had a monster rally over the last two weeks. I was pretty consistent saying that I did not think that rally would sustain. I'm sticking to my story. And, but notwithstanding that, you know, these rallies, and I, I said it from, you know, two weeks ago, I said short covering rallies can be, you know, more hellacious than the, the, the preceding falls from, you know, uh, of the main trend. So when these things get going, they go and they don't let you out. So we had like a over 10% rally straight up. And when you're looking at this day after day and week after week, you're saying, well, you know, this looks pretty real. And this is the thing. If you're looking at this on a 15 minute chart, all you're seeing is this. And you're going, well, you know, how can I fade that? And then every day, you know, you, know, you don't see a downtick and you're going, wow, this looks really real until it's not. And so to me, it's trust the patterns, trust this. This is really so kind of, it was a funky head and shoulders right there. And then this whole thing is a head and a shoulder. And then the neckline came right back down to where we rallied to. Bingo, right there. And then we had a key reversal right in this area. And so to my mind, you know, this rallies, I just look at that as an opportunity. I don't think that it's gonna do that. Now it can look like that. And I just, I don't know, it's just arbitrary. It starts rallying, you know, I just will start putting on some, you know, put options or what have you. 